This podcast contains adult themes and can contain harsh language unsuitable for listeners under the age of 18. Birthday, Commander, you made it. Happy birthday, Commander. You made it. Happy birthday, Commander. Happy birthday. We are recording. You made it. Happy birthday, Commander. We are recording. It's none of our birthdays. <laughs> but uh, this has been us the last hour. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another um, <laughs> Dcast. Um, I think I've changed the name <laughs> several hundred times. Um, but yeah, we are so glad that we watched this latest film. Um, Fantasia. Um, hey, guys. You're very quiet. I don't like it when you're quiet. Hello. We're professionals, Adam. <laughs> professionals. Absolutely. We're Sorry, Commander. Happy, <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Commander. Happy birthday, Commander. Happy birthday, Commander. <laughs> 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 right, yeah, so uh, um, Fantasia right. um, mm. I love the fact that yes. um, Me, Emma, Sam You've got like hardly any notes of we um, And then Andrew, how many is it? Nine pages? Um, uh, only eight yeah. Well, mine isn't even a page. Mine is literally a tissue um, lid because um, I didn't have a piece of paper at the time. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, <laughs> this'll do. <laughs> Just remember, guys, every penny that goes into the Patreon buys Adam a piece of paper. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, absolutely. Help the, the boy out. Paper. That's why I'm using toilet tissue lids. (laughs) It's important. Or Tupperware lids. (laughs) Oh, go. Right, okay, I can see how today's going go. Uh, But, yeah, so... Who the hell wants to start with this load of tripe? Well... All I could um, think was this film would be excellent if I was high. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. It is one acid trip. It yeah. really yes. is. Yeah. Uh, very abstract. Um, I, I would say th- th- what I found interesting about this is that is no way um, any kind of film or even child-friendly or anything really it, it is it is a conceptual piece of art that's what this is it is art um <laughs> yeah that's what he that's went what for is. isn't it <laughs> it does look yeah. to me right you know when you see a show yes. for like artists when they're applying for jobs at big studios and stuff yeah. it <laughs> like looks a like they've just made yeah. a massive yeah. show reel yeah <laughs> yeah uh, it's just it's one Disney massive show reel. reel look what we can do oh <laughs> here's some water running Ah, yeah. lava. Mm. Here's some lighting Clouds. Ah, lighting on dinosaurs. Ooh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> it's ah. an adult film, but they've gone, oh, the kids are looking a bit bored. Quick, let's put, let's put a yeah. uh, cartoon oh. of a dinosaur in or whatever. Yeah. Let's just throw yeah. that in. Yeah. yeah. So the kids it's... start kicking off. There was nudity in it. <laughs> There was full yeah, nudity. I did know. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I was thinking, it was like going, oh, they are like ri- literally like testing the waters here, what they could actually do because it was shapes, but it wasn't like full on nudity. Mm-hmm. And then right at the end, with the harpies, with the nipples and everything, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, not one for kids. Um, I would say go for Fantasia two thousand. Um, that's what I, well, I think it's more child friendly. Um, I well, have unfortunately oh. <laughs> seen this film a lot. Yeah, every summer I would go to stay at my grandparents for like a couple of weeks in the summer holidays, and this was one of the only like kid videos they had. <laughs> so I've watched this a lot. Unfortunately, yeah, and, as a kid, yeah, that and Conan yeah. the Barbarian. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a finer <laughs> film. <laughs> Can't wait till that Disney classic. Yeah. It's all, It's actually on no. Disney Plus. Conan the Barbarian at the moment. It's on oh, the, really? yeah, it's in the star Fantastic. section because they now own it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> of course, that's uh, review number 3,000 3, million, 700 billion. And they have and put the, the Mickey Mouse years instead of the horns now on his helmet. So. <laughs> oh, lovely. I love it. <laughs> and he, he punches a duck in, instead of a camel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, oh. so for me, right? If oh. they took out the con- that stupid conductor, 
Oh, um, the preachy conductor. Yeah, who literally yeah. told us every single thing that was going to happen in the next video. It's like, just let us watch it. Just let us watch it and come up. The whole point is for us to imagine it with the music and stuff. But you literally just told us what everything is. It's like literally the first one. He goes on about, um, it starts off with a conductor and the band, then colours and clouds and shapes in space. And literally everything he was describing mm-hmm. happens. And then it's like, well, I, I, would, I would just rather watch it than seen it happen. Well. I felt like watching it as an adult, I felt it was impressive what they were trying to do. Yeah, but I thought this is not this is not a film. Well, the thing is, this, this yeah. is like, Disney yeah. always tries to make something new, doesn't he? And this, this was like an attempt of making um, orchestral animation and stuff. And it's like it's way way ahead of its time. But I don't think it kind of it probably did to it that wasn't audience very then. well received. No, um, it wasn't. A, but, um, I think that they had to tack it on to a western. That? No, I think they had to right. tack it on to a western film. So the reason I know all of this is because um, <laughs> he was googling. The we only reason <laughs> I could find, the only way I could find this film, yeah. Uh, firstly, I didn't realize I was watching an edit. So um, <laughs> undoubtedly, we're going to talk about a racist part in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 I didn't see the racist part because it's been edited out. Oh. Um, but also. Uh, <laughs> Mine was a visual commentary. <laughs> oh, wow. Brilliant. So I had a guy speaking the entire way through, so I know the ins and outs of Fantasia <laughs> now. I know all the background information, <laughs> how well it did in the cinema. So you Apparently tr- they tacked it onto a Western. Yeah. Uh, they just had to tack it onto a Western film to sell it. Mm. I don't know. That's what the guy said. Um, so yeah, it was very boring. Yeah. It was very boring. It Those was are very some three points. <laughs> I also kept thinking, <laughs> any kid that tells you this is their favorite Disney film is just lying. Oh, <laughs> yes. Get yeah. out. Just probably, get out. <laughs> probably been programmed by their parents, I dare say. Yeah, it's just yeah. for a kid to go, oh, little little Jonathan, favorite Disney film. It's Fantasia. Uh, because he's, he's educated. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, whenever I he think back. whenever I think Fantasia, I just think um, the um, the Sorcerer's Apprentice, and that's all this is to be. It's like if I, I that's all I want. I just want to watch that. I don't want to watch anything else. Nah, for me, the only bit <laughs> I care about is the dinosaur. The dinosaurs. Bit. Nah, well, I, I, I uh, found yeah. yeah, Croco, Croco boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. I, it was the hippopotamus yeah. and crocodile uh, romance <laughs> that was the, <laughs> the finest romance. thing in this entire thing. Mm. Um, you know, um, I was behind them. There's, there's a lot to unpack here. I mean, um, you do have to watch an hour the... and forty minutes before you get to that point, man. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's the the guy that introduced everything. Um, uh, he he was he was quite interesting because every time he was saying facts and things about things, not a lot of it was actually accurate. I mean, for example, <laughs> he was saying about the Sorcerer's Apprentice story. Yeah. Right. He was saying that this is a story that was 2,000 years old. There is no way that this story <laughs> would have been 2,000 years old. It was set in medieval times. Yep. <laughs> you know, it wasn't set yep. pre-Roman. Yep. Right? It's just, it's, you know, it's, um, I think we looked it up, didn't we? And it was something like, it was like a 1797 poem or something. Yeah. <laughs> Um, wow. So he was completely wrong, uh, and there was there was uh, things that M noticed uh, about the whole uh, Greek. But that's we'll later. That we'll later. talk about that later. But mm. I, I'm just I'm just noticed that he was saying a few things, and I was going, I I'm pretty sure that's not right. <laughs> um, but the one of the funniest things he did say was with the dinosaur bit about where how he they was died talking out? about. Uh, yeah, but he was also saying about uh, the fish. Right. The fish, the more ambitious than the rest, <laughs> came out. <laughs> just the ambitious ones. The left, the rest stayed in. You know, it was just like yeah, and it's like all all the dinosaurs were fantastic and vegetarian, and yet I never saw one. Oh well, hardly any that were eating grass. Everybody seemed to be eating themselves, <laughs> and he was content in saying, "Oh, but some of them are bullies and gangsters." I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> are they are they trying to sell moonshine? What's going on? I mean, yeah, it's, Rex uh, is a real know. bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
it was quite it was quite amusing. You gotta have um, a bad guy in there in a in a Disney cartoon. The T Rex was mm. uh, a delight. <laughs> I, I just loved his jazz hands. Yeah, his, his he had very big hands. hands. He did like yeah. three fingers at different yeah. angles. Yeah, and they very... seemed to be splayed and sort of like yeah, rah, come rah. Rah. Yeah, yeah. Very and nice. he was so... over. He was over. Sorry, go on. No, 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 no. Go on. Carry on. I, I was about to say he's just uh, really over evil. Uh, in yeah. in a sense of of like, hang on, he's not more more carnivorous than any of the other ones that have been eating everybody else. Mm. Uh, but yet somehow he took two hits from a Stegosaurus spike tail and it didn't damage him at all. <laughs> yeah. I did like, feel terrible on. for that day. You know, that was brutal. Oh, that was a little bit like I was. That T Rex was like a, that T Rex was like a demigod. Nothing was hurting him at all. It was just like, yeah. oh okay, you know, it was over demonized. I thought. Well, they made in, a point. in a very dramatic way. Yeah, de definitely, definitely. It's not nice to be eaten. <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> nice to be eaten. It's not the point I was getting at. Oh right. But, um, <laughs> it definitely works at a point. <laughs> it is indeed not nice to be eaten. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, because I was watching the commentary. They made a point that T Rex and Stegosaurus. Yeah, they didn't even exist at the same time. No, they didn't. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, but it's the I mean, same. It's, it's so the same with Jurassic middle, uh... Park. Um, <laughs> most of the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park would never have ever met each other. And met stuff. each no. other, yeah, no. yeah, no. yeah. I mean, there's no way that you know the medieval times was like over two thousand years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, it feels like what? It, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> but it's like I was interested no. in the fact that like um he was like saying, Oh, they all died out. Um we think it was earthquakes and drought, we don't actually know. And I was like, What? So I Googled it. And apparently the theory mm. of the meteor um didn't come out until yeah. nineteen eighty. Yeah. That makes sense. That um, makes sense. If they had just used their heads and gone to the hollow earth. They would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, they're all there anyway. That's how, they, yeah. that's how they got to the Hollow Earth because the meteor opened the the way mm. down there. You know, and they yeah. just followed yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> along with everybody else. Yeah, I love how we're just like well, we're, we're going away from the point of Fantasia quite a uh, lot in this. <laughs> anyway, this is now a Godzilla podcast. Yeah. Um... <laughs> uh, there's there's a lot of different things going on in this mm. film. Um, so I got I mean, the first start, really? story, the Nutcracker. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, this, that was is... the second story. Yeah, the yeah. first one don't count. Um, okay. Well, God knows what that was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, God knows. just a conceptual piece. The first piece. one went. This has a story to it. Apparently, did the Nutcracker sort of. have the cute mushrooms in it? Who were a little oh, bit I love the mushroom. <laughs> well, it depends. I wrote, no. hell yeah, mm. mushrooms. And I, I wrote, love the oh, mushrooms. A bit racist, though. <laughs> I thought oh. they were great. Awkward. <laughs> right, well, they, that's, my, that's just how they are. <laughs> On the racist point, right, um, mm -hmm. yeah. this was the first Disney Plus video that we've been watching, well, Disney video that we've been watching that I've been seeing around Disney Plus. is the first one mm. that came up with a warning. Um, before we started, there's like a 10 second countdown and this thing pops up. So I shall read it for you. Um, it says, the program includes negative depictions and or mistreatment of people or cultures. These stereotypes were wrong then and are wrong now. Rather than remove this content, we want to acknowledge its harmful impact, learn from it and spark conversation to create more inclusive future, uh, more a, a more inclusive future together. Disney is committed mm. to creating stories and inspirational and aspirational themes that reflect the rich diversity of the human experience around the globe. So that's pretty much a <laughs> to you yeah. about cancel culture. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? Fair, fair play. Like, that's fair mm. enough what they've said yeah. there. Yeah. They've acknowledged it. They've acknowledged that it, you yeah. can't just go, oh, but it was the time. Because yeah. they've gone, no. yeah, all right, yeah. but equally it was wrong then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a fair yeah. play yeah. to yeah. them. yeah. <laughs> It's it's That's better a good than way of handling it. Yeah, it's better than editing these things and hiding these things away. You, you it's got to be transparent. It However, sounds... does is Song of the South on even... Disney Plus? No, they've pulled that wow. from everything um, because that's mm. something else even more. Because they, 
I think at the time they were like going, "This, we, this is wrong. <laughs> we shouldn't." Ah, uh, right, this. okay. Like, right. Yeah, even yeah, though, yeah, but yeah. the thing yeah. is with that one, the actor, right? Um, he didn't have an Oscar, but he had an um, an honorary um Oscar award, and that was the first uh, Black American to ever receive um a acknowledgement from uh, the Oscars and stuff. Um, so by them not showing it on. Uh, yeah. on any service and stuff now you're kind of like diminishing that accomplishment but I know. yeah you've erased it like yeah. you've erased that, that leg thing. yeah that is yeah that's um mm. what but, film is this yeah that song of the, song of the uh, house i've never seen it oh i've never one. seen it yeah no i've never but that in- raises an interesting point you know yeah mm. Mm. so adam in your version Mm. Um, I'm assuming they're referring to the centaur <laughs> or whatever you want to call them. Mm. The lady centaur. Yeah. Was that in your part? Was that in your copy? Um, Cause it was not on the DVD. It wasn't on mine. It's, well, there was no uh, uh, edited out. There was no female centaurs. No, so the, racist, the big, the racist um, conversation around Fantasia yeah. is usually the black centaur. Because she's Lady. like a slave to yeah, the other she's a slave. Yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. on, Paula. And done in like a character, <laughs> and done in like a character, like she's got cornrows, and they've made her. They've. Do you oh, know right, what I mean? Okay. It's a yeah. bad de- depiction, basically. Um, was that in your part? I or not? can't remember. I shall have a quick little look whilst we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> their uh, their message must refer to the mushroom people. Then I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got yeah. Well, it was yeah. them and the flowers as well, because you had them. Um, the flowers were like Russian, Russian dancing, the, yeah, yeah, um, and stuff like that. So, oh, like, the fi- like the thistles or whatever they were. Yeah, the thistle, yeah. Uh, I did um, write they they're well kicking off. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're well kicking off. <laughs> Right. Oh. Um, Andrew, also, do you want to tell how awkward you felt about the bit, the the fish, the bit, <laughs> the fish bit? Uh, oh, fish hang bit. on a minute, hang on. A minute. I like the fish. Bit. I thought He's they were through his notes. <laughs> I thought that with the fish, they um they went to the music very well uh, with the flute. Mm. Yeah, they did. It's just did. how what the I... saucy fish. The and you, yeah, and you fish. said to me, well, flipping out. I... Well, yeah, flipping but out. I, I know. I noticed that uh, Cleo had returned from Pinocchio, yeah. <laughs> and they and <laughs> multiplied, <laughs> and multiplied. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And 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 uh, the there being very uh, uh, attractive fish fluttering eyelids everywhere. Um, <laughs> being very yeah, attractive. I mean, what? <laughs> what, what can, you... um, can I just note, guys, that this uh, the Fantasia is a nine plus rated on um, Disney Plus. That me? Oh, age rating? Yeah. Yeah. Or I don't okay. think. I would say no way they're giving them nine stars out of no. ten. Jeez. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, what liar's done that? <laughs> oh dear. Right. Yeah. Carry on. Yes. Well, I'm still trying to find uh, anyway. this black oh, okay. um, centaur. Well, after that, <laughs> we then had Adam's favourite bit. My favourite bit. Which one's that? The Mickey Mouse bit. <gasps> oh. All I've got right, notes on yes. for this bit is uh, Mickey Mouse is a dumbass. Oi. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> And the murderer. He's an actor. He absolutely annihilates He's that an actor. He's dead. <laughs> I think yeah, you'll but he find. enjoys it. <laughs> I think you'll find mm. that our Mickey is the Sorcerer Supreme. Because <laughs> he wields he wields magic just by flipping his arms around. You know? Um, it's a hat, see? I mean, I, well, I know, but he can wield the hat. So he must have uh, an unbridled An uh, talent. Yeah, yeah, because he's doing all sorts of things. Um, even in his sleep. Even in his sleep, he commands the stars and the sea and lightning and everything. And um, uh, he, and he's so powerful that he can make undead brooms. Yeah. Mm, mm-hmm. Zombie brooms. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then he made And I, I love... <laughs> well, yes, I, I know, but I love the bit that the broom... There's a bit where Mickey chases after the broom and the broom speeds up like as if he's doing something naughty he knows he's doing something <laughs> naughty, right so that well, gives it extra broom. he's literally created life an undead life for that i do love um, how happy like how happy little chappy the brooms are though with their little beefy yes. arm <laughs> I can con- I can confirm that the yeah. uh, the black um, centaurs are there and they are zebras 
Yes, oh, they see, lead. We yeah, saw they, that, they were but... in our part. No, there's another bit, but they've obviously wiped that completely then. Yeah, this... Um, they've they obviously just got, got the... rid of her. Yeah, yeah, it looks like... Yeah, okay, Did you know, okay. Just, to ter- just going back yeah. on to that point, apparently, so the, re- the way that they wiped her, I know mm-hmm. this from the co- commentary as well, mm. the mm. way that they wiped her is by stretching the screen, so you'll notice that the screen becomes more pixelated um, oh. in any bit that she oh. features in. Because oh, okay. um, they had to physically stretch it mm. so that they can just cut her out because it was the easiest way to do it at the time. Because they tried a couple of different things like physically cutting her out. Yeah. So when it did wasn't they working cut... as easily. What... When did they cut that out then? I don't know. Um, the do- Well, the, the upload I was watching, uh, I mean mm. the very legal copy I was watching, um, <laughs> was... <laughs> um, <laughs> it was... Uh, it was... They said seventy years ago. It was released in nineteen forty. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it was right. cut out at that point. Oh, I see. So right. it is. Probably, uh, it is. She was really unnecessary. She was removed like, from the film in nineteen sixty nine. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Okay. So, so minimize controversy. Removed. Yeah. Ah. Right. I see. I see. Yeah. Despite being a character from Fantasia, Sunflower does not appear in future re-releases of the film. So yeah, uh, any re- re-release it will never. So she'll end. only exist then in old copies, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Mm. So it won't be on VHS. It won't be on anything like that. It would literally just be yeah. reels. Um, that mm, would be worth okay. a lot of money. Yeah, why, why yeah, you'd want that mm. is a is another, is another wow. question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. But I uh, with with the centaurs. I know we keep on going back to this all the time. Oh yeah, it's like the, the, the females and stuff, like the female centaurs, like. First of all, I thought it was like one of them had a bra and the rest of them were just like topless. Um, yeah. But then, yeah. But then all of a sudden, they all had um, bras on. It's like, well, did we just see them naked then? It's like, what? I yeah. noticed <laughs> that. No I nips, though. They're no naked, nips. Yeah. But are yeah. they not making it a thing? But then yeah. suddenly they yeah. put bras on them. Yeah, exactly. If they didn't I'm have good. bras on, it would be like, yeah. you, you wouldn't have thought about it. <laughs> really. No, exactly. I know. No, no, I suppose. I suppose. But then I oh. suppose they, they show off their lovely designs, you know, as part of their, <laughs> Whoa. their uh, <laughs> showiness. <Whoa>. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> because because this, this was very much, this was very, very much like, right, they've been bathing. They've done that. Now they're getting their hair done. And by the way, do not let cherubs touch your hair. Because some of the stuff that was going on, uh, somebody put a plant pot on somebody's head. It was ridiculous. They, did, um, they were there obviously centaurs. So, they did the hair of two had beautiful yeah. things like a little flower and a dove, and the other one just had like a yeah. tube stuck on her head. Yeah, and just like oh, stick a bird on her head. That's fine. <laughs> um, so they seem to be so sort of like doing themselves up, uh, and, and then suddenly from across the from the cross then comes. The army of clones that I can only imagine that every male centaur genetically looks exactly yeah. like Hercules from Disney. Yeah. Looks exactly the same. Same hair, same yeah. face, same yeah. body type. Chad. And they come right in, in <laughs> other than the other than the colour of their hair <laughs> and slight color and skin. Colour of their flesh and all the rest of it. Mm. And yeah, and, and and all that. Uh they're the same person. And they come around <laughs> trying to chat up these ladies. Um, and there was no interracial yeah. relationships there either. Did you notice? Ah, uh, yeah, well, they all pair up with Tim Cullen. Yep, yep. Mm. Yeah, this yeah. This mm. It's just well, there you go. Uh, so we need so Fantasia we're, we're, we're 3000. Gather, we're we're gathering that uh, centaurs are racists. One. It also implied the blue one Basically. had sex. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Saucy. <laughs> Saucy. Yes. Not on my Christian Disney server. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we did notice that as well with the um, uh, the Pegasi. Oh um, yeah, don't set me off now. <laughs> right now, uh, this this is uh, when they were all drawn like My Little Pony, which is which is <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, some of them changed colour when they jumped into the lake. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, the blue one jumped in and yet comes out orange. And yeah, <laughs> and uh, this is great. I I did notice how buoyant and wonderfully swan-like they were when they were in the lake. Mm. I thought that was really cool. That was that? that was Walt Disney's um own input, apparently, according to was the it really? commentary. Yes. 
Oh. Um, <laughs> I I you've never yeah. known. <laughs> em, em, would you like to explain about the whole Pegasus oh. thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Where they go and well wrong in my book. Uh, Pegasus go for it. is his name, not his species. Yeah. There shouldn't be more than one of him. Oh, just a winged horse, isn't it? <laughs> This is bloody wings, isn't it? And we all know Fine. that he hangs out with Hercules. He shouldn't be on this film. <laughs> but yeah. All the centaurs are Hercules, mm. so that's okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It also messed me up because they couldn't work out if they wanted to do Greek gods or Roman gods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that I was, was like, that was what a mess. Did yeah, didn't they have Apollo at the end? Yeah, they got Apollo and Zeus. Yeah, they've gone with Diana and, and Vulcan instead of Artemis and the fighter. But yeah, mm. they've kept Zeus and Apollo. So they can't make their mind <laughs> I did find it interesting, it annoyed, though. It annoyed that, me. <laughs> that it annoyed me. They used um, the Zeus that was in Fantasia influenced the Hercules Zeus. Because if you notice, it's very it, similar. It did. Yeah. His beard. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. 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 Mm. It's like obviously mm. the one in uh, Hercules is far more muscular and stuff. But that, that one, the facial features and stuff looked very mm. similar, I think. We uh, couldn't work much... out as well. Well, yeah. why Zeus was such a dick? Yeah, <laughs> Zeus such a was party pooper. He just comes up, yeah, but Zeus shoots everyone, been a dick, and then <laughs> the Greek gods. Yeah, but you would have thought he'd like a party. Yeah, he does love a party, and he loves a bit. He sex. always gets about. Yeah, yeah for he humans, gets plenty there. Oh, you know. For humans, not fantastical creatures. He doesn't like fantastical oh, creatures. Oh, he'd have anything. To be fair, <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> Uh, it's essentially one every oh. Greek tale in who's too fancy this Also, week. <laughs> I would like to point out uh, uh, yet again, Disney, more donkey abuse. Yeah. There was no yeah. way that that donkey <laughs> could take that large man. No. <laughs> Sorry, I know he liked him. I know he was a good keeper, but honestly, uh, he's just no. That's just abuse. I'm sorry. Yeah, they don't like donkeys. Black do they? they really don't. No. And uh, this, there's one creepy thing about that that um that greek thing that i found how mm. creepy was it that at the end snow white herself brings the knight i thought that was terrifying <laughs> <laughs> whoever that was was snow white she just comes over like a disaster cloud <laughs> like, oh my god it's snow white it's it the ghost of snow like white she, she did <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> One day, my prince. But what did you guys think about the intermission? Oh, get your oh, eyes that right. <laughs> right. What the yeah. hell was that all about? Where? What was that all we're about? We're going to take. What I loved about that <laughs> is we went right. We're going to take a fifteen-minute uh, intermission. It took him fifteen took minutes some, to get him. about fifteen <laughs> minutes to get off the bloody yeah. stage. Yeah. And the yeah. Best I... bit about it. The best bit I loved about it was when they all came back before the conductor guy came off, they all started to have this wonderful jam. It's like, oh, yeah. he's not about <laughs> Let's play some yeah, real out. music. Yeah. Do, do, do. Did you guys and it's see like, the... oh, shit, he's there. <laughs> Did you guys That's see the bit guys. where um, all of a sudden, like, um, somebody bashes into one of like, the chime things? And hey, what the hell was yeah. that about? No idea. There was no yes. context at all. And it was just like, what? My yeah. last three <laughs> the notes. The tubular bells. Mm. The they just yeah. laughed at him. The last three notes that I've got on this film, so, you know, I've had two notes and these are my last three, um, are all to do with the interlude. Uh, <laughs> all right. My, okay. my notes say okay. the most interesting bit so far is the man dropping his instrument, which is the two <laughs> yep. bells. Yeah. Um, they go off stage, everyone cheers, Fantasia is over. Oh, <laughs> it was just an intermission. <laughs> and that was my entire thought on the film. Uh, Brilliant. <laughs> what about Andrew? What about Absolutely. your special guest note you made? Special, special guest? guest note. That was Hang at the on, intermission, no. wasn't it? At the end of the intermission? Special mm. guest note. Hang on. Who Where they've met backstage. Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's here somewhere. Oh, yes, right, here we are. No, I was not backstage. It's, it's, I'm it's, not our old. <laughs> but it says, right, in, at the end of the jam, when they're all having the jam, and then he turns up, and then he starts, you know, they laugh at the tubular bells, and then then he starts going on about, ah, I, I've, I've found an indispensable uh, character. 
he's incredibly shy and I found him around <laughs> at the parking lot <laughs> yeah. and I brought him in and I thought for all the world because he was hamming it all up to be incredibly important to, to, to the movie and everything I was like he's going to bring in Walt Disney no he brings in something called the soundtrack yeah, it's I, like yeah. what the what is this yeah. <laughs> what is this yeah I thought it was going to be Disney <laughs> I thought it was come on it's like no. daddy Disney yeah oh, oh. That was but brilliant. yet Mickey can go on stage and go up to him and goes, "Hey, congratulations!" Yeah, and then they have a round of applause just because of shaking Mickey's hand. It's like, yeah, well, what, what did you, you did about like fifteen minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, amazing! No bad really. mouth in my boy, please, Andrew. Oh. I'm, I'll, I'm not having that talk. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, and then how we much have water? The best how... bit of the film. Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah. Best bit of the film. The, the end. Yeah. And the oh. Coco Boy. <laughs> yeah, right. The greatest okay. love story ever made. The what boy? Yes. The Croco, the Croco. Boy. Oh. Croco. Count Croco. Right. I thought you said the cuckold boy. And I was like, what <laughs> the hell? <laughs> what the hell are you watching? <laughs> the greatest love story ever made. <laughs> it was. It was fantastic. <laughs> this, this whole dance thing, you know, because you had the ostriches. Mm. And mm. with their with their bows that seem to be actually light the because they moved around so um, much. Ostriches. Uh, yeah, and uh, I noticed that the cyber leader was in pink, and the rest were in a different color. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, then then that turned into the. F- the thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that turned into the uh, a food fight, and then uh. we got onto the hippos, which were infinitely better. Right, yeah. <laughs> cyber cyber leader in yellow, right. Uh, didn't like the elephants. Did not like the did, elephants. Did they not just be dabbed? <laughs> they did. They, they were what, dabbing what, yeah. elephants. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Shocking. Be- ahead of the time. Ahead of the time. Yeah, <laughs> Disney time, invented really. dabbing. Well, he was a visionary, <laughs> see? Um, yeah. <laughs> but my biggest question is, what blew all the elephants away? I never got to the bottom of that. Uh, they wind. all just away. Yeah, that uh, must yeah, be that some very wind. strong wind. Mm. The yeah, power yeah. of dance. Global warming. Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the power of the brass um, instrument. And then the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, they invented the brass instrument. <laughs> uh, but no. Um, then this dark cult turned up of crocos, which was my favourite of it. And <laughs> cyber leader wearing a feather. He turned up, and he was brilliant. I gotta be honest. That that was the best bit of the film. The True love. Croco I loved them. Hippo romance was yeah. That was, it was very, that was yeah. It. I've given up on life at, um, at this point, man. So. <laughs> I mostly had as well. No, no, that comes <laughs> right at the end. I'll wait, wait for that. Oh, they've no. come in, I couldn't work it out, though. Like, they've come in like a dodgy cult. I couldn't work out what they wanted exactly. Hippos. They just because it dance. did look like they'd come in to they eat wanted them women. or kidnap them or something. Yeah. Apparently. Just oh, dance. So Here this, we go. Inside the knowledge. <laughs> this has something to do with the times of the day, right? I don't know whether this is explained in the uh, normal vision. But the mm. morning is represented by the ostriches. Oh, um, right. I believe right. then mid, uh, early, late morning, sorry, is then mm. represented by the hippos all right afternoon is represented by the elephants and then the night because of they are the evilest of creatures <laughs> oh, is of course. it, it of is the crocodiles mm. but um that is all the background like information that there is on this entire animated well, that's plot. better because that does imply why they came in trying to look sinister yeah yeah because yeah. i thought a yeah. crocodile's not going to eat a hippo mm. surely no. See no. The way round. Do you know yeah. what this stupid <laughs> conductor guy that tells you um, what's going on at the yeah. beginning of um, of each of them? Mm. It'd be much better if um, he did just what and uh, Sam just said after the thing. It's like going. So yeah, yes, yeah. the um, the ostriches represent the morning, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be much better. Um, an an actual yeah. point of him being there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, mo- most of these most of these stories and entire this entire film is literally just explaining a day of whatever. You mm. know, even in the beginning, it's like, oh, the fairies have woken up. It's the morning, blah de blah de blah. Yeah. Oh, it always seems to end in a sunrise, and you just go like, oh right, okay, this is no different. It's just a dancing version. Yeah. yeah. You know. Essentially. Um, yeah, it's. Um, uh... Yeah. Shall we talk about Bald Mountain? 
Bold well, Chernobog. Chernobog. Yeah. <gasps> I really loved the animation of the dead, um, mm. of like the ghosts and stuff. It was like a chore yeah, so type good. animation. It was very good. Love that. that was yeah. amazing. I can't remember what yeah. the guy said. He said it was made with something like trans, some kind of transparent plastic or something. Right. So, um, yeah. Well, that's what yeah. cells are as well, aren't they? So. Cellophane, is it something? I don't know. Yeah, but um, he said that it was like, like a completely different method or something like that that was used cool. for the dead, yeah, which is why they awesome. look so... It is cool. Mm, and like the work. flame dancing in his hand. Yeah. 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 And all the little creatures. So cool. I love the yeah. little creatures. Yeah. You just ignore the I harpies. I did notice as well. Yeah. <laughs> the harpies. Uh, did you notice through most of this film, there was a little nod to Greek uh, culture, you know? Mm. Um, yeah. There, it, even in the hippos dancing, there was Greek columns and stuff. Yeah. And then, of course, you had the centaurs and things. It was it was laced through through the film in a weird way. That and I hippo noticed thing, the harpies because they didn't need to be there. Yeah, the thing with the the hippos and the 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 pillars and everything. It, the, again, it was just that was Hercules. I think so. I think this entire mm. thing just sets up for Hercules. Let's match roll. Hercules yeah. on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, guys. There's only another like oh, 30, 40 films to go before. Oh. Then. Oh. <laughs> Well, I thought, one day, uh, I thought... One day, Adam, we will go the distance. <gasps> I we will. go the distance. I thought oh. We can go zero to hero as well, Emma. <laughs> Just oh like that. <laughs> 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 it's just around the river, then. Uh. Go away, Fantasia. <laughs> We've done with you. <laughs> There's more good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I noticed that Satan did remind me of uh, Venger from D&D. Mm. I Dragons. don't think he was Satan. I think uh, he's something else. When he... He's Chernobog. Chernobog. Beelzebub. Yeah. Chernobog. Mr. Chernobog. <laughs> Mr. Chernobog ah. from accounting. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> from account, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on his, on his uh, mountain retreat. I love the fact he transformed into the mountaintop. I love that. That yeah. was, oh, it was yeah. such a smooth yeah. transition as well, wasn't it? Yeah. That's very good. We're all revving up here. Mm, we love our <laughs> That's absolutely a bit like a, a, a transition and a bit of transformation. Um, again, though, at the end, the worst bit came at the end. Uh, like Zeus, in a way, the bells turned up, ruined everybody's fun. Right. Yeah. Because what were they doing that was bad? Nothing, really. They were just hanging around on the top of a mountain as far as I could see. I'm going to laugh. Um, <laughs> it's only one night. And he got this awful... God. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just one night. And at the end, you've got this... What, what's it? Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Maria. It Ave Ave Maria. Maria, right? And you've just got this <laughs> painstaking, painstaking <laughs> lanterns just going over yeah. an arc, arc bridge in the world's longest march. And the most boringest part of the film, and yay, it's the sun at the end. Worst ending ever. And I've written that down <laughs> yeah. and put a box around it. Apparently, it wasn't going to be the sun. Apparently, it was oh. going to be some kind of, um, I can't remember what he said now. It was the Black Sun. It was going to be some kind of goddess. Yeah, some kind of goddess or well, something. Well, that would have been like something that. better. Yeah. Because I was this... shocked. Did it just end it? Yeah, it was a rubbish end. That was end. just it. Yeah. It was a bit weird. Yeah. It could have been didn't worse. have any it credits either, white. did it? No, it was just been so like white. a dorm. <laughs> yeah, bring in the night. What's the drop? It's good literally. <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> Snow White, bring in the night. <laughs> right, well, okay. Oh. Um, I, I think we, um, we've been in that one, then, are we? Um, I yeah, I think my out. verdict is they tried something impressive and do you know what it was as an adult it was a lot more interesting than as a child yeah but it wasn't mm. a good film there, no. there was no story if, i don't know it was too pretentious no. for its own good i think yeah my verdict I... that i've written down is i'm wondering why i ever liked this film and how i even had the patience as a kid to watch it <laughs> yeah because mm. i almost fell asleep about three times yeah yeah well, uh, you don't need a SMR. Just watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasia, yeah. off. <laughs> it's like I'm. I think this is. Yeah. Memories serves me now, right? It's like I think Fantasia 2000 was better. Um, I don't think it had the person talking. Um, and I think it was just all more, just like more story-based animation from what I remember. 
Um, I might eat my I look words forward when we to watch comparing it. them when yeah. we eventually get to it. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So in about six yeah, years when we so. get to that film. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought the conductor guy was uh, amusing. But he wasn't even to, conductor, uh, was he? He was just way. a compere. Well, no, I he's think. yeah. Compe, sorry, yeah, because mm. the I, I noticed that the conductor from his side profile when he turned, he was looked Albert like Albert Einstein. Uh, <laughs> no, I thought he looked like uh, Palpatine out of uh, <laughs> Star Wars. I thought he looked like the Emperor. Unlimited music. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am Beelzebub. <laughs> so, um, Sam, uh, do you know being the insider? Yeah, yes, with your commentary, yeah, my Do we know who the guy? is? talking was um he said he must be someone name. famous it I wasn't think. oh hang on it wasn't anything of note to me like i can't remember i didn't make any notes uh, about who it, he was because i didn't give a fuck who, who was <laughs> dean's talion talion dean's talion or dean's talion or something i, I just know. typed it in and it says steve martin down. but that's um that's fantasia 2000 that's it um <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, so there was there was a compare then in um in Fantasia two thousand it was Steve Martin. How could I have forgotten Steve Martin? I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, I can't find oh. the compare. I'm thinking he must be he must be he can't be a nobody. Do you know what I mean? They must have got someone in. It could have been that you're meant to recognise, but I don't know him. Yeah, but we're out of time now. It yeah, might have been yeah. somebody that was really famous then. You know, um, in, the, in the field. Time. Music you critic know. and composer Deems Taylor. Oh, That's there it. you go. Deems Taylor. Okay, he's a composer, right? Yeah. Okay. So he was a composer. Um, yeah. Born in 1885, 100 years before I was born. Wow. Um, he was an American music critic, composer, and promoter of classical music. So there you go. That's why he was here. That makes sense why he's there then, yeah. People refer to him okay. as the Dean of American Music. Oh, there yeah, you go. okay. So they might well have heard him on the radio and stuff. Yeah, yeah. he's probably a recognisable face, yeah. His Classical dad was named as Jojo. Oh, wow. That's a oh. good name, quality. Mm. Jojo Taylor. I also noticed, actually, thinking about him, is he had a token woman sat to the side of him. <laughs> who was the yeah. only woman, woman in that entire orchestra. No, there was one was just in front of him I to the right as well. Few. Yeah, there was one. Oh, there was? Yeah, there, there was quite oh, a few okay. different. But there was like a harpist um, to the, in the front to the right as well. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Mm. Okay, that's but, not so yeah, bad. I did think there was Talk a about like music and, and like compose and yeah, um, conductors. What is the mm. point? Of a conductor, and how do they know what the hell he's on about? It's like if you watch well, the guy at the beginning, the point. all he's like, his hands are like down and then they're up, and then it's like, what are you just like doing figurative dance or something, really? Yes. Like, so it's like, <laughs> yes, that, that, it's a mystical that's language, point. I'm sure they <laughs> yeah. understand. Yeah. <laughs> I think the point is. Is 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 to make it a point. It makes you know, it's it's sort of like trying to convey the timing of the music to the orchestra, isn't it? Mm. From from the sheet music. So it's like when he's waving your arms around, you're supposed to be like he's looking not Jeff at Wayne, is he? his little nods like that. Jeff Wayne. Um, Jeff Wayne. I um, don't know. Add the answer to the ending coming to Mars. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. the world. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it is Jeff Wayne, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jeff Wayne, yeah. Where he dances, where he's he, he's composing. He's amazing, <laughs> like conductor. He's, 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 his little bums go in, like, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little bum. He knows he's just there to be looked at. That's yeah. what he's, That's his job. <laughs> he's like, the chances of anything coming to Mars are looking at my bottom. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, Mars. Yeah, you got nothing like this at home, have you? <laughs> 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 I hate talking about that because I want to listen to it again. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do a Disney uh, version of uh, War of the Worlds? Oh, yes, please. Oh. <laughs> Can we just trust them? Anything do better War, than this? War of the Worlds. <laughs> yeah. Right. Although, uh, arguably, some of these things did come from Mars in this film. God knows where they came from. Well, the next one is terrestrial. Dumbo, which is another one of my least favorite oh. Disney films. Yeah, um, at least this at least one is only. Story, I suppose. And, yeah. and at least it's only like sixty-three minutes long. I think it is. It's something wow, like that. yeah, that's it's really very short. short. It is tiny. But Wait, how long? Like sixty-three, 63 minutes, minutes, so just over an hour. Oh damn! Yeah, it's it's tiny. Um, but like we did last week, um, we're gonna do the um, 
main protagonist of the previous film with this one. Mm. Um, are we going to say the conductor right. is the main <laughs> protagonist? Say, let go! Yeah. Instead of Mickey, because yeah. that's funny. Yeah, that's so, too obvious. <laughs> so, uh, too obvious. Yeah, first in Pinocchio. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, Dean's Miss Taylor. Oh, Mr. Taylor, yeah. Versus yeah. Pinocchio. <laughs> Again, I'm going to say Pinocchio. Ah. <laughs> no, Pinocchio can't uh, win forever. He well, if he was up against down. if he was up against Mickey, then he would have just chopped him up into firewood. So, yeah, that is true. Yeah, that's true. That's why I but thought it was unfair because yeah. Mickey exactly. is a grand sorcerer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think yeah, but the thing is, Dean's Taylor, he's he's a conductor. He's going to be fancying Pinocchio to be his new stick. Oh, oh yeah, true. Lie for me, Pinocchio. Lie for me, Pinocchio. Snaps his nose off. Yeah. Oh, oh God. God. Bastard. Bastard. Father, Bastard. father, he <laughs> took off my nose, father. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Say, your father can't help you now. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. God, have you got a mask? Orchestra, he's got one hell of a gang on his side. I reckon he will. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Pinocchio. You just Your bury him in the tubular bells. Stick. You tubular lamb. bells, man, would just <laughs> fuck him up. Yeah. I <laughs> make him into a, uh, what is it, a glockenspiel? Or a, <laughs> yeah. a Which one's the wooden one? <laughs> Which one's the wooden yeah, one? I think it's is it Glockenspiel? Glockenspiel? He'll turn him into a Glockenspiel. <laughs> oh, Glockenspiel. <laughs> You'd grout him first with a, um, a violin wire. <laughs> <I'm> like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I say there, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. I'm going to play you like a Glockenspiel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, Jiminy, he's going to play me like what? Beautiful. I say beautiful. <laughs> Let's go concerto number nine by Bach. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> he can also send him straight to sleep as well. He's not going to be much of a tack. Go to no, sleep, Pinocchio. True. And then true. snap his neck. <laughs> <laughs> He's only got a skinny little wood neck. Yeah. <laughs> Pinocchio, I'm going to tell you the story of the T-Rex. next song. So the next song is going to go... <laughs> 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 the uh, ultimate assassin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm hoping the conductor like prevails throughout. I hope he ends up being the ultimate winner. <laughs> <winner. laughs> well, he's up against Dumbo yeah, next, yeah, so I absolutely. think he would win against Dumbo. Yeah, I'm predicting yeah. a win. Again, know, Dumbo though, can't what fly. setting would it be? <laughs> you know? Oh, are we talking bloody Mortal Kombat now? Yeah, if, yeah. if he fought anywhere near the magic hat, uh, mm. once he's broken Pinocchio's neck, there could be then two Pinocchios to be dealt with. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. You know? mm, that so, bad. Yeah, you want to be... Let's backtrack a second. So we, are we saying it's like winner stays on type thing? Or are we like... Yeah, yeah, winner stays on. <laughs> but he, I think, did oh, he win we? last time? Did he kill Snow Pinocchio White? Pinocchio went last Yeah, yeah, Pinocchio went last. I don't think it's winner... I don't think it's winner I don't think it's winner stays on. I think we should just... No, it becomes <laughs> Battle Royale then, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. So well, maybe... It's like the wrestling, we'll make, you know, note, wrestling. We'll make note of who wins each time out of the two, and then nah. at the end, we can they can all have a big Battle Royale. The winner. Oh, yes! <laughs> the winner. The Royal okay. Rumble. Pinocchio. The Royal Rumble. Okay, there we go. Every yeah. three minutes... We'll do, we'll do a Hunger Games for him. Uh, well, every no three man, minutes, actually. every three w- minutes, we'll we'll put a new one into the ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, brilliant! Uh, I like it. But we'd have to decide when it comes to Hercules: are we doing like Hercules, or are we doing like pathetic Hercules, but he's lost his power? Oh, because if it's Hercules, well, then he's just going to win, isn't he? <clears throat> He is literally just going to win. I don't know, mind. I don't know. We're up to. Uh, there's a lot of funny things in Disney. I mean, for <laughs> example, you know, okay, he might be a god, but what if he was up against like uh, the genie of the lamp and he could get imprisoned in the lamp? There's all sorts of ways. The genie's not yeah. the main yeah. protagonist. But what if yeah, but we've worked out that they can use whatever they've got. To <laughs> oh, wow, okay. well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. He might. <laughs> have the lamp in his pocket he just whip it out going i got a wish do over hercules no problem <laughs> i am um... would be immobilized at least temporarily happy birthday commander <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, commander. 
Uh, just to re- reiterate, there is no one's birthday here. <laughs> it's just us. It's happy the commander's birthday, commander. birthday. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday, Commander. <laughs> happy birthday, Happy birthday, Commander. Commander. I say, happy birthday. You made birthday. it. Happy birthday, Commander. Commander. <laughs> you made it. You made it, Commander. Happy birthday. We can make these Happy jokes because I highly doubt any of those people who will guess that reference will listen to these podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, okay. Um, well, we had a bit of a, a, a standstill now and, and a problem because the last mm-hmm. two we've stopped with Andrew giving a um, really spooky quote from the the film. Now, yes. there's not that many quotes, really, <laughs> in this film, no. is there, other than the and Deems, Taylor. Um, well... Do you have this, one prepared? This is it. No, I, I th- <laughs> I've, I've really struggled with this one. Mm. So the only thing I can think of us doing to end this podcast is possibly happy all birthday, singing... Uh, is all singing um, the... Um, uh, oh, I just can't wait. Oh. <laughs> That's the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All out of tea. Come on, guys, we're going off Alton Towers. <laughs> I'm a wizard! <laughs>